say that it feels right What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's the Blender Gaming, my name is the Blender and today we have another episode of our um, Dark Souls walkthrough. Um, this is actually, I believe, the last installment of the walkthrough. Uh, we actually are able to kill the last boss here, so without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll be picking up right where we left off in the last one. Level up our, our endurance here. <laughs> and now we're headed to uh, headed to Lost. Is this Lost City of Isolan? Yeah. Well, let's see if I can do this right. So the run, the way we run this is. We're looking for that, that centipede-like demon, and there's another one over there. We're going to run by this one. And then the shape, screen shakes because he's chasing us. We'll get on here. We're going to go up that little tree, tree set up there. <laughs> Grab these humanities here. And jump through this wall. Oh, nope. Camera's gonna mess us up. There we go. Now we're headed over here. This is the uh, the last run. That's, that's where you run to from... Uh, when you when you're doing the better chaos fight. We'll do some prep here. Get the uh, the bow. Put in there. Don't need the arrows, just the bow. And some fire bombs. Don't have black ones, so I'll use these ones. And here we go. All right, we are good. Run by these guys. Run by these guys. Go up these steps. Now when you're going up these steps, don't get hit by that guy. He does acid, which breaks your gear, and if he breaks your gear, you have to repair it. Oh, I almost almost messed that up. This girl, you can kill her. She doesn't respawn if you kill her, but you can also do the same thing where you run by her. Don't get hit by that. It hurts. It hurts. We don't need power within. We don't need any of these spells, actually. Make a nice leisurely slide down here. Oh, we messed that up. Whoo! That was close. So we get to here, this middle part right here, right? Back twice. Right here. And we are going to aim, I believe it's right there. Yep. Uh oh, I've done it wrong. Get 
did it wrong. Let's see, maybe it's over here? It's supposed to be right there with that arm. Hold, please. All right, so we'll uh, we'll do this one more time. So over here, it should be right up here, and over here, it should be as long as we're in the right spot, we should be right here. Yeah, that's why you do the two the two jumps back, right? You come up here, one, two, but you almost are exactly on it. <laughs> Come up here, and it's between those two right there, and it's between, I think, that right there, this one right here, this knuckle. So let's do that one first. And then this one. Man, we, we almost bit it there. If you don't do them fast enough, you'll get hit by that, yeah. And that's all we need. Used them. Okay. We'll warp back to, I believe, to. No, no, we can't do. We can't do Firelink just yet. Um. Did we ever do the asylum? So we'll go back to Firelink. Find out if we did the asylum. Don't know if we did the asylum, demon. <coughs> Let's find out. Looks like that's a no. So let's go up and get it. Not worried about her talisman. <laughs> there we go. Over here. 
over there. Wonder what's up here. Well, that gets you in. There we go. Get us back up there. That gets you into another area in the uh, asylum where you couldn't get to before. <clears throat> Fill up into a ball. Do some inventory management while you wait. Apparently not. You should be able to drop things if you wanted to drop them. We actually have all the Lord Souls. We could open up the kiln already. Now I just wear Havel's ring to give me some extra movement regardless. Come up here, wait for these guys. Asylum's down. <laughs> oh, got him. Perfect, perfect. And homeward bone. Now we're going to warp to, I believe, uh, first we're going to go to Firelink, go uh, get our, turn our Firekeeper soul in that we picked up uh, for our extra fat, you know, healing. vessel but we warp two is it an Orlando no we want the dark tomb but so we have to go to an Orlando I think because we didn't um, we didn't push it down so we do have to do that <clears throat> Gwendolyn and Priscilla. Priscilla's the pain in the ass. I hate, I hate the painted world. But she's actually a decent boss fight if we, uh, if we do it right. Which usually means that I don't, I don't do it right, and. that gargoyle because the place is dark because the dark all of an orlando goes dark when you kill the princess when the, that goes dark all those those two gargoyles disappear now the fire keeper that was at the an orlando bonfire has not is no longer there and is waiting for you on the other side of this but if you kill her then you can't warp you know you can't use the an orlando bonfire and for whatever reason i have when I, if i kill her i can't warp to the bonfire down here or or 
yeah, the bonfire down here. So, I just leave her up, and we'll come back and kill her later. There we go. My rest here. So that if, if in the event that, uh... I die to this stupid boss. We use the combustion because we're going to get close and there's not enough time to really cast the Greater Chaos Fireball. The Greater Chaos Fireball would do more damage, but she, he, she like disappears before it happens. One, I think she does four of these, two, three. Almost. Should be bow, one. And plus dice. Oh, done. Now, if you're if you're doing a melee build that with enchanting, uh, or where, with that you want to enchant the weapon with something, sunlight is on the end of that, and that is all, all the way back there in a um, chest, and it is a beast. I don't think it's as as good as the. Um, I think it requires faith. I'm pretty sure that's that's a requirement. Now I come up here, <clears throat> as we're headed for Priscilla. Yeah. Still got our power within ticking. Got 33 humanity to spend on full heals. Easy peasy. We don't push that up. Power within drops, we'll go ahead and give ourselves that full heal we were just talking about. And because we got that doll, we can now go into this painting. <laughs> the painted world of Ariamis. Ariamis? Aramis? Is it Ariamis or Aram Ariamis? Aramis? Oh. And we can warp, so I'll go ahead and <coughs> get this one. No run. I again hate this world, so I don't really uh, do it correctly. I just run it. I do it correctly for a speedrunner. But if you wanted to, like, you know, if you wanted to. Slow walk it and fight these guys. Be my guest. I'm also glad that my build doesn't have anything it requires to like farm out of here. Come down here, around here, and here we're going to uh, look this way. And roll that way. There we go. Use lesser combustion real quick. Because we're going to kill these guys so they don't shoot us in the back while we're running. Oops. Let one hit me. We're only worried about the archers. I didn't mean to. Oh. There we go. Now you don't have to worry, so for the first time, if you're doing this the very first time, like I am, you, you just you just get in. Don't worry about, don't worry about what's behind you. Right? She doesn't start attacking you. But, if this is not your first time, and you've already attacked her and you died, she she's hostile. 
So, what we're going to do is we're going to power within, get the greater, greater chaos fireball up, come behind her because we maybe we want her tail. She's right there. Oh gosh, dang this girl. I'm going into the snow. Watch for her footprints in the snow. And kill her. Stupid boss. And that should drop us back out here. Where all those guys are ready to whoop our butt. Still got our power within, so we got plenty of stamina regen. Coming out here, and we're gonna push this one up. I believe we have to go around to do that. Stupid, stupid guys. Why well, they gotta be like that? <clears throat> oh yeah, we gotta go this way. Not a, maybe I was the I was the stupid guy. And here we have. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I was prepping the wrong side. Here we have our fire keeper. So it was you. How dare you put your support in a deity? Goodbye. Alright. Now we could uh we could go back or we could homer bone. Oh, see. And now that firekeeper's absent, so we can't go there. Yeah. That's what I was saying, like it won't let you go to the bottom one. And that one uh and that one no longer is work usable, so If you wanted, uh, if you're doing a dex build or a halberd build, you could go in there. There's a, there's a nice halberd in the, well, one of the chest over there. I believe it's a mimic, so you would have to make it stop being a mimic with either a Lloyd talisman or kill it. This useless run, caused by my own stupidity. I should have just the, what you what what I should have done is just run down from. Or turned around, pushed the thing down, and gone to the Dark Moon Tomb fire down there. But, that's my failure. Now we'll warp on, on down to, I believe we are ready for the fire link. And we have our third um, fire keeper soul, so we'll upgrade our flask. But we are, we are headed for the old... Gwyn, I believe. Well, that's the that's the end of the end of the run. So let's get to it. Yep, we have plus three. We're good there.
come up here and we should be able to offer souls to the Lord vessel. Now we just run our way to the first flame. Technically, I probably should have leveled. Uh, this one is easier if you run up here and fall on him. Disrupts his uh, his attack. If you're tr if you're doing the um, speedrunners with the red tier, they run the other way and they get hit in the back by him while like move swapping there. Well, not move swapping, but changing their weapon. And if they do that, then they get uh, they don't get backstabbed, but they get backstab damage, and it takes them right into the Red Tearstone Ring. And to the right. There we go. Put it, get the power within ready. And to the right again. Here's our power within. There he is. That's the end of him. Big bad baddie. Now you can do the uh, hornet ring if you're doing melee build and you you like to parry. You can do the hornet ring parry. Um, but I just like to tank and spank. I feel like it's a it's a little easier. So we'll um, check our time here. Not that we're speed running or anything like that, but. Uh, we managed it in four hours flat with uh, all the bosses and uh, all of it, uh, you know, every bit of it was pyro except for the ones that are immune. You could skip them with the, uh, the Daughter of Chaos uh, humanity skip, but uh, we decided not to. We wanted the extra souls. So with that, that is uh, all for today. We'll uh, go ahead and showcase the uh, the great sword on the the new boss with the plunging attack it's absolutely hilarious I don't think I can can I fast roll like this nope And I don't think, uh, I don't know if Pyromancy will carry you through, uh, or, or would carry anybody through a, a plus seven, like in a new game plus seven. But it might be, you know, it might be worth a try. Could always just fight him here. If you kill him before, um, if you kill him here instead of, uh, or, yeah, yeah, if you kill him here before you go through this gate, uh, you automatically get the demon grade hammer. It's a little easier than running behind him and waiting for him to get out of the way. We're back to the old beginning start. So, let's see. Roll that down. Oops. Oh, and die. You could get the other the the other pyromancy flame, but like I said, you know that doesn't it doesn't do anything anymore. There's one. 
There's two. And let's see if we can overkill a boss. There we go. Good night. All right. Well, I appreciate you for um, appreciate you for watching the videos. Uh, if you have any tips, tricks, or anything you want to see, leave it in the comments. I'll um, we'll get to it as soon as I can. And other than that, uh, thanks for coming. Hit the like and subscribe for more content, and we will catch y'all later.